Greetings and welcome to the Gamer Hub. Today we are covering the Actually Editions mod by LPAC. Actually Editions is primarily a tech-based mod that adds in a wide array of new machines, items, blocks, its own power and more, which can benefit the player in many ways. If you are not sure where to begin with the mod, then it's probably best to read the in-game manual. In it contains everything you need to know, including, but not limited to, relays, lenses, machines, automation, leaf blowers, rings, all-in-one tools, lamps, crystal clutters, and much more. So much, they'll only cover a fraction of what this mod has to offer. The manual features documentation on everything the mod has, and will teach you about what the feature is, what they do, and how to craft it. Actually, Editions includes its own version of RF, Crystal Flux, or CF, that every machine requires in this mod to function. To generate CF, you can either use solar panels, heat collectors that require at least four lava blocks to surround it, Leaf generators that act similar to heat collectors, require leaves surrounding it to generate power, bioreactors, and canola, a plant that when extracted by the canola press, can be used in an oil generator to generate CF. Each method of generating CF is aimed for players who are at different stages in the game, with each method posing both positives and negatives. Transferring CF can be performed in one of two ways. Batteries can be used to hold CF through energizers and can discharge power into innovators that discharges items. A cool feature about batteries is that if they're set to discharge mode, which can be done by sneak right clicking, it will charge up any powered items like drills or rings in your inventory without any fuss, which is handy on the get-go. Another form of transferring power is through laser relays. These relays can be used to transfer either CF, fluids and even items between blocks. This can be done by connecting one or more laser relays with the laser wrench. Setting up the lasers is relatively straightforward, which explains how to set it up in the manual. Lasers can be upgraded and delve deeper, but if you want to know more, and to not make it too confusing, then check out the manual. Once set up, CF can be used to power several machines that are added into the mod, including firework boxes that shoot out fireworks in random succession, vertical diggers that mine blocks for you, crushes and double crushes that double your ores alongside doubling other items, shock absorbers that protect areas from explosion damage, display stands that can not only display items, but also perform special actions with certain items and many more. The manual also categorizes blocks that use and don't use CF, making it easy for players to navigate which blocks need power and which ones don't. The next major component Actually Editions adds is the Atomic Reconstructor and Lenses. The Atomic Reconstructor is a block that converts any block it comes into contact with, with something different. It is primarily used to create crystals, which can be made by placing vanilla ore blocks or items in front of the Reconstructor. Once powered with CF, it will fire out a laser that would change whenever it touches in front. The Atomic Reconstructor can also convert flesh to leather, quartz to prismarine, and more, which is handy if you need a rarer item or if you are fed up of having so many stacks of flesh in your chest. The laser can be toggled by using a redstone torch on it to toggle the laser to either a pulse or off. The Atomic Reconstructor can change many more blocks and items, although it needs lenses to perform it. Crafting the basic lens is fairly cheap, but the types of lenses, however, are not expensive, but are not easy to come by either. What is really cool, however, is that the lenses can be reconstructed to make other types of lenses. By throwing a basic lens in front of the laser, it can be reconstructed all the way up to the lens of the killer, which is not only a unique and fun way of crafting, but is also balanced. These lenses can be attached to the front of the atomic reconstructor by right-clicking them. When attached, it will then change the thing in front of it based on what the lens does. There are a few lenses to choose from, with each transforming a particular block, item, or entity. For example, Lens of the Miner creates any ore, both overworld and nether ores, by placing either stone or netherrack in front, with more power consumed depending on the rarity, whilst the Lens of the Detonation causes a fiery explosion and impact, and the laser also travels three times the distance. A final note about the Reconstructor is that it can separate enchanted books into multiple, based on the amount of enchantments it has, so, if you came across a book with enchantments for a pickaxe, a bow, and a helmet, then you can separate them without wasting the rest. Moving back into crystals, they can also generate inside the new underground biome, lush caves, which generate at any height throughout the overworld, adding a breath of fresh air instead of mining in the same bland caves every time you go mining. When harvested, the crystals break into shards, which can be combined to form crystals, or can be mined with silk touch to preserve its cluster form which adds a nice decoration and way to light up caves more naturally. These crystals can be used to create various blocks and items, including drills, all-in-one tools, rings, and the primary function it's served for being empowered with the Empower. 
The power is used to empower not only crystals, but other items. To do this, have four display stands two blocks away from each direction, like a T. Have the display stands powered with CF, then place the required items for said empowerment depending on what crystal it is, and then place the crystal or crystal block in the center and let the magic happen. Or let the lasers do their thing, and after several seconds, the process is complete. These empowered crystals can then be further used to make the higher tier items that are in the mod, including extreme lasers, teleportation staves, rings, and more. Since Actually Editions has much more content than ads, it will be virtually impossible for me to cover it all, but in terms of what else it covers, here are some other features. When tilling grass with the hoe, you have a chance that a worm will pop out, which can be used not only to help farmland remain tilled in a 3x3 radius, but also helps keep it hydrated and speeds up the growing process of crops. Three village professions can be found with unique structures in villages, one selling jams, the other selling machines and various blocks and items that are added by the mod, and the other selling crystals. Treasure chests can be discovered in ocean mimes, containing plenty of sunken treasure from long ago, and finally, lamps that are a new source of light that can be crafted in all 16 colours, which can further enhance your builds. There is plenty more that this mod covers, but I'll let you discover the rest for yourself. In short, this mod is well crafted and contains heaps of content that will gain the attention of virtually any player. The wide array of machines that are added all perform some use to the player and is useful to have Crystal Flux included without having to download a mod like RF to do the job. The manual is your go-to for finding out what the mod features, setting up complex machines and without the manual you can definitely wound up lost as to where to go. The only problem that I encountered was the lasers not showing when fired but since I was using shaders, this problem is nothing to worry about if you play in a mod pack or without shaders. It runs smoothly and there were no dips in performance when the Empower or other machines were in use and is overall a well polished mod. Thanks to LPAC for making this huge mod and link to download it is in the description below. And that is the end of today's video. If you want to see a mod get showcased then drop a comment and suggest it and maybe it will be featured in a future video. Thanks for watching and as always. Have a good day.